The first thing you want to do when you're getting started designing your app layouts is decide what device is going to be your priority desktop, tablet, mobile phone. This isn't to say that you're not gonna design an app that's fully responsive to all of those screen sizes, but by choosing a default, that will help you create an anchor point for all of the rest of the decisions that you need to make going forward from there. Think about what device you expect your users to be on the most. This is gonna be your starting point for your layouts. Next, every visual element you position on a page should fit into some combination of rows and columns. In fact, if you look at any application you use today, you'll see that all of the content is organized into some combination of rows and columns. This is why app editors typically offer a grid overlay that you can place in your canvas so that you can see how things position on the page. You don't want to randomly place them on the screen. Things will feel disjointed otherwise. Rows and columns help keep structure. They help you align things evenly and distribute the spacing between elements evenly as well. Your application's content should also help dictate layout. You want to highlight key pieces of data in a way that's most appropriate for your users and for the data itself. So for example, a dashboard may have charts and graphs, whereas an inventory management page may have a table or a user settings page may have uh, more of a form-like design. And so these different ways of visualizing data will help guide you in how things are gonna be positioned so that you showcase that information appropriately. Real quick, if you're finding this helpful, our fast track course goes vastly more in depth about how to take your app from idea to launch. Founders who are looking for a complete start to finish blueprint have found it most helpful. So you can take a look at coachingnocodeapps.com slash fast hyphen track to see if it might be a good fit for you too. Now, another thing that's gonna help you keep your layouts organized is creating hierarchy on the page. You know, not everything needs to be visible all at once for the user. Uh, you don't want multiple things competing for their attention. So if you can create um, sort of an implied hierarchy through manipulations of your visual properties, that's gonna help guide them through consuming the page. Usually they'll try to consume the page top to bottom, left to right. So the first thing is you want to you know, position your most important things at the top of the screen and kind of work your way down from there. That's the thing that they're going to see first. But you can also play with things like the size of your text, you know, how you use color to call attention to certain areas. You, know, you want to make sure that you create clear sections or segments um, of different areas of the page. We've always encouraged our own clients to create a reference page in their application so they can see how all of their visual elements look next to one another, especially when it comes to creating a standard layout uh, for your screen. So this way you can always go back to it and, and sort of create rules for yourself, right? These are, uh, this is the standard spacing between elements. This is what our, our labels are always going to look like and, and how they appear next to the content, right? If you create a sort of template for yourself, you can ensure that your entire application is going to be consistent and all of those layout decisions are going to be easier to make as you go.